previously on my apocalypse server series some very nice individual decided that he would like to knock me out and cage me which wasn't particularly fun but I managed to wake up outside the cage after uh, about 10 or so minutes of trying I punched him out and then I made a cage and put him in it uh, funny I actually managed to put walls around mine so like the same dumb shit wouldn't happen to me all was well until a clan who's been hanging around the area and bothering me rolled up on a crystal wyvern and decided that they were going to break him free. He, he wasn't one of their friends, they just decided to break him free. Which was not fun. I swore vengeance against these guys and then I found their base. And they happened to live in the perfect area to get griefed. The episode ended with me killing their parasaur, which would open the path for me to continue griefing them further without getting spotted as easily. And I've decided that the best thing I can do to harass them is guerrilla warfare tactics. They are much bigger than me, and they have much better gear, and they have wyverns, so I can't take them in a head-on fight. So my strategy is to attack from the woods and disappear. You know, the shit the Viet Cong did. Yeah, good luck finding me now. I got this endless woods. Wow, man. At this stage, I have, uh... You know, I'm probably testing my luck. I should just leave. And prepare for the next attack, which will involve just, uh... Running up and fucking blowing one of the women's heads off with a shotgun. While doing stupid little harassing attacks like this are fun, they're not exactly easy on the coffers. Doesn't mean I'm gonna stop, though. It just means I'm gonna do some more time farming. Night will fall soon. Time to get out there and get some shit done. Let's get in there. Fucking run up to one of those wyverns. Put my fucking shotgun in its face and, uh, you know. The rest ought to be new parasaur. You gotta be shitting me. Alright, whatever. We're still going through. Load. Oh, because I attacked the one, two... Uh, I really should have checked. I attacked the one wyvern that's not a terrible level. You gotta be shitting me. Come on, I hate my... <sighs> PvP is just full of embarrassing moments like that, isn't it? When you think you've got a great plan, but then it's really not even a good plan. It's not a bad plan, it's a terrible fucking plan. Uh, you know, you don't see a lot of this on YouTube because, you know, who wants to show this? Well, I want to show this because I think it's worth showing. I failed. So that means next time I'm going to have to come back stronger and hit them harder. I don't care about the shotgun and the flak I lost, but that was a serious hit to my fucking pride right there. I'm going to have to make up for that. I need to go kill that parasaur again. There's that new Parasaur. What kind of name is that for like the Wyvern? A L. It must be their gamer tags. If I had bum rushed that one or that one, I would have been fine. Is that a new fucking Parasaur? Are you serious? She needs to keep shooting. I need to see yellow tech soon. Am I even hitting the fucking thing? Come on, die, 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 die. There we go. Well, we're gonna have to go for another one. So this is gonna be risky, because I keep using the same spot, but... Looks like they're moving their shit inside. There's one of them sleeping. Just kill him. No, I just feel like it. 
And now they're searching. Let's see how much damage that doing. Uh, we'll just mag dump in the dude's head. We'll see. He sees where it's coming from. He's looking. probably explain and once again because they have incredibly thick woods on either side of their base I just disappeared without any real effort or danger even after they attacked him with the fucking parasaur there's a wyvern up there it's level 61 wyvern you want to go ahead and stand still and then I can give you so just a quick bit of information, where these guys are is where I was when they detected me with the Parasaur, and I have moved to a different location now across the ravine. There's like four of them on Wyvern just looking for me, at a place that I was at fucking approximately five minutes ago. Look, they're all doing the little flap your wings thing. It detected me. Fuck. How did it fucking detect me? Someone must be carrying it around. Gotta move. So that thing detected me somehow when I hadn't even moved. I like it because I'm. Because what? A, fuck, he's got a parasaur on him, doesn't he? Yeah. He's carrying the parasaur around the okay. Um, That thing pings my location once every 10 seconds, so if I can just keep moving and uh, hopefully disappear, that would be wonderful. Alright, we're gonna go to the ocean. That'll be my salvation. Yeah, if they move that parasaur around on a wyvern, there's effectively nothing I can do against that. Now, if you don't realize what these guys are doing, is they're literally fucking picking up a parasaur in the claws of their wyvern and sweeping it around the area like a radar system that's just trying to pick me up. And it's very fucking effective too, because it can find me in areas that they could never hope to see me in. All they have to do is travel in teams of two. One dude carries a parasaur, the other dude doesn't. One spots, one kills, and it's over for me. And there's nothing I can do. Fuck, this could be bad. But now that they realize that they can wave that parasaur around, that's going to be some serious trouble. Like, At this point, I decide to head back to my base. I need to get some more ammo, repair some of my armor, and also I need to just let them put their guard down so that I can strike effectively again. I'm not going to be able to do shit when they're flying around everywhere with parasaurs on wyverns, so I need to let them settle down a little bit and then try something again. Be a move. They really, really are looking for me. Imagine if they get a whole fucking fleet of wyverns with parasaurs underneath them. That would be a little, a little hard for me to deal with. But, you know, so long as they don't do that, I'm good. And Parasaurs don't even give you, like, a real-time update of where someone is. It pings them, like, once every ten seconds, so... It's not hard to lose them in the woods. Ugh. Plus, any time that Parasaur ever goes off, they're gonna be like, Holy shit, is that him? So, it's about sowing paranoia in them. That's what it's all about. Fuck off. No, you- And I'm gonna die with this fucking bronze, okay? And the- and the parasaur sees me! This game just fucked me over, completely. Please fuck off. Fuck off. Bronto just moves in front of me, like thank you.
the fact that he found me in that moment, that's what really got me. Because if I just die to the, al the fucking Alpha Raptor, I don't really care. But if I die to the Alpha Raptor, when this dude's fucking sniffing me out that Parasaur, fuck that. This guy's really, like, they're really extending the fucking size of their search, so... I need to go pay my respects to that fucking Parasaur. I've literally been using the same spot so many times. They should know it by now. What's going on down there? Yeah, all the wyverns are out. That level 61's looking so fucking juicy. I hope no one comes by. Those might be on neutral. <clears throat> They're on neutral. Time to lead them away. Is there turrets around here anywhere? Dude, there needs to be turrets around here somewhere. Let's beat this one right away. Okay, I need to lay- Oh, what I can do is I can make some spikes. Get him to aggro to the spikes and then he's fucked. Alright, come and get me, pal. Okay, he bit a spike, so... He's gonna slowly kill himself, so I need to throw down... Parasaur Wyvern. Fucking... Well, unfortunately, they managed to find their wyvern before I was able to kill it. But one of the things you gotta keep in mind is that the two wyverns were left on neutral, and they've only found this one. But I also don't know where the other one is, so maybe if I can find that before they do, that'll be something I can use to my advantage. Is that an alpha? That's an alpha rex. Oh, I should've led it to the... Next thing they leave on neutral, it's getting led to this fucking alpha rex over here. I'm gonna throw myself at the Alpha Rex too, if that's what it takes. But I guarantee you, a, Chris, a level 60 Crystal Wyvern does not last very long to get to fucking Alpha Rex. What the f- oh, the Wyvern- so the Wyvern's back. And I don't see them around, so... Okay. So that guy just realized I shot it. Now he's gonna come looking for me. Do you think he sees- he totally sees me. Parasaur. Fuck off. Oh, that's what he did. He picked up the Parasaur. That's why he looped back around. What the fuck is that? There's, why is there a wyvern right there? Maybe they haven't found that one yet. Please tell me it's on neutral. Yeah, come and get me. Come and fucking get me. Alright, come here, you. Come on. Get after that fucking alpha right here. Yeah, come on. Okay, so they're looks like they're fighting each other. Now, you'd probably be surprised to find out that this actually took quite a while. I didn't just leave it here for like 10 seconds. I mean, the issue was the Alpha Rex and the Blood Wyvern both have very weird movement and their AI isn't well made for that movement. So they're like flying around each other, walking around. They're not really getting good hits in. So this actually took a surprisingly long amount of time. But I was pretty lucky in the fact that nobody showed up to save it like they did when I placed down the spikes. That's what we consider an actual win that you can consider to have a serious effect on them. They just lost a Crystal Wyvern and I'm sure they would have preferred to have kept. I don't want to accidentally shoot the... There we go. Wyvern number one dead. <gasps> Drop a little tee hee in chat so they know I was responsible for it. Mission accomplished. The Wyvern has been eliminated. 
gotta say, I'm pretty happy with those plays. We started at the absolute bottom with me eating shit with that shotgun, and we ended with me genuinely bringing down a wyvern, which I feel like was a considerable hit to them. If you liked the video, feel free to like and subscribe, and if you'd like to financially support me, the link to Patreon is in the description down below. You get early access to videos and other cool goodies. Thanks to Dylan DeVillain and Level 5 Tech Dodo for being very epic.